All right, everybody. It is me again, Dinnerweegee9000 here, um, bringing you a different video. And yes, I know I haven't made a YTV in a while, but that's not the point. As you can tell by the title, I am interviewing someone today. And today I have here a YouTube pooper who is well known for his uh, Peppa Pig YTPs and for making clean YTPs, and also being noticed by Dan TDM, which is pretty. Pretty cool, I guess, to say the least. Yes, I have here the one and only, one and only Roscoe. Mc I'll just call him Roscoe because I forgot the last name. Anyway, yes, <laughs> why don't you introduce yourself, Rock Roscoe? I'm uh, I'm Roscoe McGillicuddy, and uh, this is probably one of the well, this is the first interview I've done, and I haven't really done much since the show's my face or or my voice yet. So uh, I'm really excited to be here and talk about this show. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I was just wondering, how are you doing tonight? Oh, awesome. Yeah, no problem. Good. Uh, that's good to know. So I'm going to start out with one of the most obvious questions that everybody asks, um, and that's, uh, what made you want to start doing YouTube poops? Like, what made you discover YouTube poop? And, like, uh, like just basically real quick before I tell you how you got started, how did you discover YouTube poop itself? Oh, how did I discover it? Um, I really don't even re remember. I just, um, I think... Well, what may have happened was, well, I, I got two kids. Uh, they're they're ten and five now, and uh, that means that I, I watch a lot of cartoons. And and uh, when my son was littler, he watched a lot of Nick Jr. and and um, I don't know. Somehow, I just kind of came across a, a parody, a YouTube poop of of uh, one of his cartoons, and and uh, I, I lost it. I, I I thought they were hilarious. So the next thing you know, I'm I'm just uh, scrolling through, looking at all of them that I can find. You know. Mm, yeah, and uh, and another, and this goes on with the same question: What made you decide to start making your own YouTube poops? Like to start to make make you just like you know, I'm gonna do this. Like, what made you decide to make your own YouTube poops? Well, uh, you know, um, when I would watch the YouTube poops that I would find, a lot of them would. Uh, would have, you know, language or, yeah. or uh, you know, suggestive stuff in it, which, you know, if it was me uh, watching it, that's, uh, I, I can, I can handle it. I can handle that, you know, um, I got two kids running around and when they see me laughing at something, they want to be involved. And too many times I had to freeze my phone screen and say, guys, you can't watch this. Oh, yeah. They get, all, they get disappointed and everything. So I try to find some clean ones and, and then I started noticing that a lot of the clean ones were just not very good. Yeah. And I thought, yeah. geez, I could do this, you know, and, and the rest is kind of history. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, YouTube poops, like, originally they were made back, like, for a majority of a different kind of audience. I remember it back in the day. Uh, I didn't really understand a lot of it, but... Um, I don't really mind that since I'm older and you're, and you're like, uh, you have children and I can understand how you like, don't want them to watch like stuff that has language or suggestive themes right. in it. Like I, I can understand, like I wouldn't show my, uh, like if I had a, like if I had a, uh, my friend or my little, uh, like I have people, I have some people who are like uh, eight or nine and I don't really want them to watch it that much because like. I, if, if I don't want, like, their parents or anything like that getting mad at me, although a majority of people nowadays that that age know a lot, which I'm surprised, but, um, but yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> no, right? yeah, I know, it's just, it's just, it's just become different, but yeah, uh, I remember, like, watching these YouTube poops, and I, and I've, I've changed, I remember them having, like, a lot of language in them, and, of course, I didn't really show anyone because I didn't know what they would think about it, but, because, because right. uh, like, imagine if you show someone that they hear like bad words, they'll be like, "You can't watch this. This is bad. This has bad words." And I'm like, "I know," but uh, it, it was also when I was younger because I came across YouTube poop sometime around 2012, 20 maybe earlier. But I really didn't start. I remember coming back to it like in 2016, 17. So yeah, that's but that's for another time. <laughs> but yeah, I can understand what you're saying um, about that. But um, another thing is like. Um, what made you decide, what kind of, uh, I'm going to bring up to this, up to a different subject of this, but what kind of software do you use and what kind of, like, if you have any external plugins, like different kind of effects and stuff, what do you use? Well, um, it's extremely basic and uh, that could be, be seen in, in some of my videos, especially some of the earlier ones. The... Uh, the software I'm using is Adobe Premiere Pro, specifically CS4, which uh, 
is ancient. And yeah. uh, but really, the only reason I have it is because I am a colossal cheapskate. Ooh. And uh, I already had the software from like way, way back in the day. And I figured, oh, I'll just reinstall it and, and acclimate myself on how to use it. And uh, so basically, I didn't have to spend any more money on it. Yeah. Uh, you know, since I'm not making a dime off of my channel. Uh, yeah, you know. I, I don't think anyone really makes a dime off their channel. Maybe the only channels, uh, I'll get back to that later, but yeah, basically I don't yeah. even make any money off of it, which I'm fine with that. I don't <clears> do it for money. I just do it for yeah. fun. Like, yeah. But yeah, you keep speaking. Uh, you can see speaking. Oh, no, no I, was, uh, I was just saying, sure. Oh, yeah. And um, another thing is, do you have like any plugins like maybe Sapphire oh, yeah. or something like that? No, no actually, um, I just use what comes with uh, with so oh, standard. I've never really explored uh, going outside of it. Well, plus too, you know, the fact that the software is so old. I think finding software or uh, plugins that will work with it are, is probably pretty hard. Thing, you know, I haven't really done much research on it myself. So you know. yeah, yeah, I can. I, yeah, I I've used uh, Vegas, and I usually um yeah, I just I use Sony Vegas, which is a newer kind of software. I use I use the up, I usually update my software once every year, you know, just in case for like laggy and bugs that get into it. And uh, I use a lot of plugins because yeah, that because a lot of YouTube poopers that I know of nowadays, like modern kind, use a lot of external plugins like Sapphire, BCC, Blue Blue effects, and all those kind of effects. But what I can yeah. see from you is that you use a lot of basic effects, like you know, just the ones that come into store and stuff like that. And, and um, with you know, everybody has their style. Yeah, and, um, and that's what there, there are. What there are plenty out there that. Uh, and it's all kind of random and everything. Whereas I, I tend to more will off of the dialogue that's going on in the um, you know, in the cartoon. And you know, I've I've kind of got these little niches where you know the, the characters will stare at each other, and there will be a back and forth. And each time it goes back, there will be a distortion of the face. You know, something that I could do with very yeah. simple. You know, and, and it makes people laugh. I get a little bit of, uh, there, there are a few haters out there. But who yeah, I'll, 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 and I'm going to come back to that later. But uh, another yeah. thing that I want to, yeah, but like, uh, of course, on to this. What is like your main style? Like, you know, like a like a storytelling, a uh, just like a, a random uh, effects or like, you know, any kind of like just out of dialect. Like what do you technically use? Um. I mean, like, uh, what kind of what kind of things do I normally go back to in terms of what do I do? Well, what I mean, like, is like, what kind of style? Like, do you like do like a story kind of style? Like, you know, telling one like sort of like a story type of um, poop where oh, yeah, like well, goes like that or like a um, it kind of comes out as it comes out. Um, I will screen an episode, and if it doesn't talk to me, then I don't use it. Uh, there are some episodes that, as you watch them, you just go, "Oh yeah, I know what I'm going to do here. I know what I'm going to do there." Um, and sometimes it just, it flows out and other times it's not, not yeah. as easy. I'm sure you can attest. Um, but generally I, I play with what's already there because I don't use a lot of, um, of crazy effects and I don't ever go to things like, um, uh, ear rape. You know, there might be a couple of times where that's come through, but it's only because I didn't know much about tapering the volume yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's more, it's more situational, I guess, uh, yeah. It, it sticks pretty close to the original cartoon, but uh, the changes are just enough to where, you know, hey, let's, let's get a laugh out of this that wasn't in the original. So. Yeah, like, I, I know that. Like, I've seen, uh, I, I, like, uh, I've seen some poops, like, that are glitchy type, you know, like, very heavy effects, and I've seen, uh, like, very, like, like, uh, like effects, but more of like a story dialect, like with a lot of Michael, like a, a lot of other type of sources of YouTube poops, they do more of a storytelling. Um, oh, yeah. part of the, the what? So, yeah, like, uh, like I've seen a lot. Of, like, there are many different types of styles. I've seen so many styles, and YouTube poops changed in like the, over the last ten years, which I'm surprised. Oh, yeah. Like, there are different type of poopers. But uh, yeah, another question is, uh, of course, uh, what made you want to start doing specifically Peppa Pig YTPs? Because as you can tell by your channel, your channel is basically a majority of them, or quite a lot of them nowadays, are just based by Peppa Pig YouTube poops. What made you decide to choose that specific source? Well, um, there, there are a lot of reasons. Um, first of all, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of the show because my, my kids uh, 
watched it prolifically. And uh, as a result, you know, I kind of got stuck watching it too. And um, the, the, another reason I kind of gravitate to Peppa Pig is uh, the, the, uh, I won't say the graphics, but the illustration, the, the art is very, very simple. And that makes it kind of easy to do stuff with. Yeah. You can change things around without having to get too complicated. Um, and if you ever really just watch the show itself, it's it's actually kind of funny in, in places. And and uh, so it's, I don't know, it's just, it's easier to work with. And, but honestly, the main reason I stick with it at this point is because there have been times where I've kind of flirted with doing another cartoon and a lot of the comments that I read say, go back to Peppa, go back to Peppa. And um, risk of being a one-trick pony, I uh, I give the people what they want. And I do read every comment um, because, you know, you don't know what people are asking for unless you yeah. read what they say. Yeah, you know? and I can predict you get quite a bit of comments each day. Uh, oh, so yeah. God, yeah, so I... I almost, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Possible sometimes to keep up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I've had poop. I know. I know. I've read some description of YouTube poopers. One YouTube poopers uh, makes YTPs, and he um says he tries to read most comments, but he like gets a lot of comments from his videos, and it's just yeah. Oh my gosh, I just like oh, I wonder how he keeps up with them. Um. Yeah, the the app on the phone kind of helps a little bit because if you check it about once every couple hours, you can see everything that's new. And another thing I do too is I um when I read a comment like it and that way i know later on that I, i'm reading one that i've already read and um you know and, but honestly a lot of the comments that come through i like anyway so you know it's all good yeah and uh another thing i want to get up and i had this in different in a variety of orders but i'm excited to get on to and this other question i was going to have in a sec but I decided to do since we're on Peppa Pig, watch piece. What made you? Oh, uh, uh, well, yeah. I think I'm gonna bring this up again, but uh, specifically again, what made you want to do clean YouTube poops again? Like, cleaner? oh, just because. Um, well, honestly, in a direct, in a direct way, uh, just because my kids, you know, they they wanted to watch these things, and but I did find a clean one. I let them watch it, and they thought they were great. But you never know what you're gonna get. You don't have any warning. Yeah, like that. That's what YouTube poops. That's why it. That they, they most of them are like. Most YouTube poopers, um, like a, a majority of the YouTube poops that are very popular, have quite a, have some language, and some of them are oh, actually sure. there are some clean YouTube poopers out there that I know of. I think one of them, I think one of them, I think is uh, what's his name again? I don't know if I'm right on this, but I think one is Yoshi Maniac. He's another YouTube pooper. Uh, yeah, I've seen he's he's uh, pretty big. I think yeah, at he's, least he's, six figures. In, uh, yeah, he's got like I think he has like yeah. over a hundred and seventy thousand subscribers, and he um, yeah. Yeah, and he makes like cleaner YouTubers. He's also a, a teenager, so but and, but he tries to keep his I think his YTPs clean. And another YouTuber who's clean too is a YouTuber named The Things or The Things One back in the day before he changed his name, who makes mm. clean YouTube poops. He's been doing them for like over, I'd say maybe around over uh, eight years, maybe nine, almost ten years. I think I don't know. Wow. I mean, he's been doing it since like two thousand nine, so it's been a bit. It's been a while for him and. Uh, yeah, he he's and he's a YouTuber. I think he's got like ninety two thousand subscribers. And one of his goals Jeez. before he changed his description was my my goal is to become the biggest the biggest and cleanest YouTube pooper out there. Whoever he since <laughs> cha however since changed his description because I think he's moving off to more of like um, gaming and skits. I don't know what it is, but he's more going to uh, look at this, which is like a new series on his other channel. And he's I think more branching off of YTP to m m different like you know different um kind of variety of uh video um topics so yeah mm -hmm. and um another thing that i wanted to s say since you got i got clean up again is what made you want to put ytp clean and tell like put clean instead of just putting youtube poop just completely just youtube poop in the uh, title oh well um <clears throat> that way it's easy to see um because the title is one of the first things you see and that's why i put it towards the beginning of the title too because i put myself in well, I, I put my, my viewers kind of in my shoes. I imagine, okay, there's a dad out there who uh, is in the same situation that I've been in and is looking for, you know, this. And uh, it's a target market, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm 38 years old. Uh, probably too old to be doing this, but it's fun. <laughs> no, you're not as old. Uh, but, there are some YouTube poopers who are about <laughs> that age. So you're not yeah. alone with being older with being yeah. older YouTube poopers. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I kind of understand uh, business and marketing and stuff. And, and that's, that's another reason why I went for clean is because I realized it was kind of an untapped 
uh, market. You know, not like I was expecting to make much money, if any, off of it. But uh, it was a group that didn't have very much YouTube poop options uh, without having to, you know, sacrifice the the innocence of their children. I guess. Yeah. You know, so I, I just kind of figured, hey, you know, let me step in here and and see what I can do. Not that I'm the only one, but you know. Yeah, you're probably not the only one. There are probably a lot of YouTube poopers, who, or quite a few YouTube poopers, who want to keep their clean sanitary. Since YouTube has changed so much in like the past several years, that like that edgy content and stuff like that is like right. a big, uh, big uh, problem on YouTube. So they take down anything. They even terminated a YouTube pooper named Big Eye Luigi, who had like. 7,000 subscribers, and then he gets terminated out of nowhere, and uh, now he has to start all over again, which is pretty <sighs> upsetting. Like, imagine, like, you worked, he worked, I think, for over six, five years, maybe, five to six years, making YouTube poops, and then literally, he gets it all erased in just one day. It's just That's awful. Yeah, I know, <laughs> and, and he and he grew, and he grew quite a bit of an audience, and he was a big, a big part in YT, because he did tutorials on, like, how to do certain effects on, like, Vegas and stuff, like, like a how-to, maybe sentence mix, how to um, do like these visuals and stuff like that. He was a big part of the YouTube poop community, and just to see him go away was pretty upsetting. However, he did return, but he's still trying to recover from his channel losses. Like he's still trying to go back up, I think, to seven thousand, but he's only made it to four hundred and forty-seven, I think, in like about oh, about Jesus. a month or two. Yeah, I mean, he's growing. He's still growing, fortunately, but. I hope he can get back up to where he was because he was a big inspiration to inspiration to YouTube poo. Um, right. And stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And um, um, I'm going to, and now I'm going to bring up another one. It, this is obviously, I think um, another one, but have you ever, and I, this has actually been think I've been trying, I've wanted to ask this, but have you been, have you ever wanted to like make new sources, like maybe Michael Rose and other cartoons, maybe other YouTube pop culture of stuff like that, different kind of sources for you to, for your YouTube poops. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think about it sometimes, and I might um, just because if, if you watch any any YouTube channel that's got a lot of uh, viewership, not not just YouTube poopers, but if you watch them over time, they evolve. You know, Dan Tdm, I don't believe he does mod showcases anymore. He doesn't do uh, Minecraft. He, really yeah, he, he's just sitting in front of his computer talking to us. You know, and, and some of these other big YouTube big YouTubers that uh, my kids watch. No, they're not doing toy reviews anymore. They're just goofing around. Yeah, like and even, so, a, yeah, like, uh, yeah. there was guy, uh, another Minecraft YouTuber at like 10 million. He stopped uh, making Minecraft videos, and his channel's basically plummeting, which is sad. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have to, you kind of have to bend with the times, but you, you have to do it right, too. And, you know, there come, there's probably going to come a point where I might throw out another Caillou thing or, uh, or something else. I get a lot of requests for cartoons that I've never seen before. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so that, that's kind of more difficult. But, um, you know, so it's, um, it, it may happen. But, uh, I mean, I've, I've seen other uh, YouTube poops of like, oh my gosh, some of my favorites are the, uh, the diabetes commercial. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that, what's his face? Uh, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. but he, Wilford but, Brimley. Uh, Wilford yeah. Brimley. Yeah, the uh, guy who has, to, who has the mustache, and he was on, like, Family Guy and stuff like that. He was parodied throughout 2000. And oh, yeah. 2000. I remember he, that guy. Uh, yeah. Those those YouTube poops were his little infomercial with diabetes. Uh, I almost yeah. threw up laughing. So yeah, I, I, I laugh at them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're pretty funny. I mean, I like I like those YouTube poops. I like a, a lot of variety of YouTube poops. I like uh, glitchy YouTube poops. I like uh, storytelling YouTube poops. I like a lot of YouTube poops. Absolutely. Style. Yeah, and I think it's just uh, it's just so funny and also upsetting that some people can't even watch them because like you know it's got too much. It's sometimes it has too much explicit content. Like I've had I've seen YouTube poops that have literally. Uh, too much adultery where I feel like it's where it needs to be more censored out than uh right. than shown. Like I one of my friends does that, which he makes really edgy YouTube poops, and I don't really think about it that much because that's him. But it's of course for me to watch it. Like if I'm doing a stream or something like that, and he tells me to watch a new YTP and I don't see it coming, I'm like, okay, okay, I can't show that, and I literally turn off my screen sharing sometimes and like, nope, I'm gonna have to skip that, either that or stop watching this video because I'm not right. gonna show that and potentially get a copyright strike because I once got a copyright takedown I think from um from sh from playing music, which is ridiculous. But another time was my but my friend got uh, a copyright strike because he. His friend, someone hacked, um, so you know, yeah. Google Hangouts is like a thing, but he basically got a, he was doing a call, it was a public call, and then literally, 
uh, he gets some guy gets into the call, decides to end the call, kick everyone out, and show graphic imagery. Which I know that's oh, all topic, but that just shows how like YouTube is. Like YouTube will Ugh. do that. Like if they sense the the bit of what could be of the, of uh, probably a potential danger, it's definitely going to get taken down. Which yeah, I hate right. That. Yeah, and another question is, um, let's see, what was I going to say? Um, another question that uh, I've been actually thinking, too, is that uh, why did you make a Peppa Pig Christmas YTP during summer, like, about a month ago? Like, what made you want to decide to do that? Because I've, I've had people in my uh, call calls and stuff like that, like, tell me about how you made a Peppa Pig YTP in uh, June. And I'll come back to that later. But what made you start to, like, want to make a holiday YTP in June or something like that? It, uh, you know, it, it's, it's like I said before, I, I did watch a few episodes and if one talks to me, it, it happens. And that one just kind of, I saw the curtain, the stage curtain going up and I thought, okay, I, I can do something with that, make the curtain go up and down. It just, it just kind of happened. And, and I didn't honestly even think about the fact that it was a Christmas related episode and that it was, uh, you know, springtime or, or summer or whatever. I just, yeah. But hey, you know, since when does YouTube food make sense? You know, it's, it, I got a couple of comments like, why am I watching this in June? And I'm just like, next, please. You know, yeah, next, please. Uh, yeah, I, I, that, I, that's a perfect way to get back to them. Like, just next, please. Or like, or like, or like something like that. Right. Uh, yeah. Like I've had people do that. And yeah um but uh, i just don't even reply to them really either when someone says this is the worst video i've seen i'm like I, in my head i'm thinking okay thank you for giving me the positive feedback now i can go on <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah i i used to get a lot of those however i fortunately not many people uh do that anymore which is pretty good right. but yeah um another question is uh uh, people, um, this is what the going on with like something like that. How uh, do you feel like you're overrated? Like as a YouTube pooper, like you are too overrated, or do you feel like you are right where you are with like so like a popularity count? Because that's what people would want to know. <laughs> like, do you think yourself well, overrated or under? Or um, no, I mean, I don't think I'm overrated, but um, I'm actually kind of surprised at the at the level of growth yeah. that, I, that I've seen. I've only been doing this about a year and a half. And uh, yeah. it, it started out like anything else. It was really slow at first. And I was just happy to get 10 views. And and uh, every now and then a subscriber would trickle in and it made my day and, and all this stuff. And it, it really, it picked up even before uh, Dan TDM tripped over my video. And, yeah. And, and uh, you know, but I think... You know, I don't. I don't take away from anybody else's style. I don't see anybody as an enemy. Even the even the people that make uh, you know uh, YouTube poops with with language or anything like that. I mean, I'll watch that if my kids aren't around, and I think it's hilarious. Um, yeah. You know, but it's a uh, you know, it, it's just I I tapped into what I did, and people seem to enjoy it, and I compare myself to others and. Uh, yeah, I, I like my style, but um, you know, do I think I'm out there? I'm the best out there. No, but uh, you know, it, it'll continue to grow, and, and I'll continue to enjoy. It. I'm, I'm happy where I am, and I'm happy with what I do. So yeah. yeah. And going on with that question is, of course, like I think you basically explained, but but how does it feel to be like like you know where people see you as like a big YouTube pooper? Like how do you feel like with people just looking at you and just seeing like wow, this guy's he got over 24,000 subscribers. Like, why do you feel about like when people probably, <laughs> it's, exciting. It's, 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 it's really interesting too. Um, you know, cause you know, I, I, I'm a real person and I walk around and I have friends and, and, you know, I meet new people, you know, just, uh, like anybody else does. And um, it comes out that in conversation, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel and then, you know, someone will ask me, well, how many subscribers do you have? And you're probably expecting to hear like 12 or 14 yeah. or something. And, Say well, I'll hit twenty five thousand, and, and the reaction is uh, it's kind of a watch, and it uh, you know. And then of course they say, well, let me see your stuff, and I have to explain them what YouTube poops are. Yeah. And uh, sometimes the conversation goes well, other times not so much. But uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, it, it's it's neat. It's really exciting. I didn't think it was gonna ever get like uh, you know this this big, and it's still growing. Um, yeah, I see. You know, like so it, it, it's exciting to see where it'll go. 
Yeah, like, I've seen you grow, and I think it will keep going. Yeah, so it must be interesting, like, to know when you, like, like I like you said, when someone says, oh, do you have a YouTube channel? And you're like, yeah, like, and, I, and they're like, how many subscribers? Like, maybe two or five, and you're like, 20, I've got, I just, I got, like, 24 to 25,000 subscribers. I was like, what? Where's your <laughs> <Right>? channel? <laughs> like, I literally, I, I like, people, I... I most likely uh, I would wouldn't be surprised if like people are like, can I can you please put me in your video or stuff like that? Can you make a YTP of me or something like that? Every now and then, yeah, you you see all kinds of stuff in the comments. And, yeah, uh, I you know. yeah I used to get someone who wants me to make YTPs of them, and it gets tiring after a while after reading those comments because I'm like I want to do something. I want to do like a YTP of what I want to do because I don't want right. like I, I if you want to go ahead and if you if you really are that desperate to make a YTP, just make it yourself. I mean, all you need to do is get an editing software and boom, you can make your own YTP. I mean, it's not that hard True. to do. Like if you just look into it and learn some stuff, you could easily be, you do YouTube poops like anyone else. Um, That's right. Yeah. So um, another thing is uh, what who is your inspirations for like YouTube poop? So like uh like any certain type of youtube poopers that like inspired you to like do what you do or something like that well i um one of the first people that i started kind of following a little bit was um was and he's still around um the wacky weevil oh yeah and, i know uh, the wacky weevil yeah i've heard of and him and what's really cool is that um when i first when i first wanted to get into this before i'd ever even touched my editing software um, YouTube still had that whole send a person a personal message thing. Yeah. Send them a message, and I said, I said, hey, you know, I'm thinking about doing this. I like your videos. What what kind of uh, advice do you have? And you know, he got back with me, which I thought was really uh, had a lot of class, you know. And, yeah. and uh, he gave me good good advice, and and uh, I, I think now I have more subscribers than he does. Yeah, he has but, like um, one. I think it's like maybe like. 17, maybe 13,000. I own 13, to, 13 and 18,000, I think. I could be wrong by Alan. Yeah, but, so, he, I mean, he, but he, he was huge because, um, you know, I love um, I love watching some of his stuff. And, and uh, you know, he was he was helpful to me. So I think if I had to point to one person, it'd be that guy. So. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I mean, there are quite, I mean, I know some YouTube poopers, uh, like definitely, and some underrated poopers who I've seen that definitely inspired sort of what I can do, like with editing, like, I think one of them is like Zevio, one of my, who's a underrated YouTuber. He has only like one K, but he does like very uh, trippy kind of YTPs too. And another YouTube yeah. pooper who I thought was who's, is pretty good, who who I like them, who I like too, is Paper King ninety nine, who is a friend of the Wacky Weevil. So yes, yeah, uh -huh. I know, yeah, I know him. So I not really know him. I just know him from his YouTube poops, which I like. Sure. Yeah, and another thing is like I, I actually saw this is another question, but. I saw like you posting on your community tab a few like maybe about a few days ago talking about how someone took your YTP or something like that. How do you feel like when people take your videos and like re-upload them or something like that or and credit them for themselves rather than credit you for like what you did? Well, I, I um I, I feel I feel like a like I've been kinda of robbed. Um, you know, but it's not like I I don't get angry. Uh, but I just kind of say like, geez, you know, I worked hard on this and you're not going to give me any credit. You know, it, it's kind of like, dude, seriously. And, and especially when they take your video and they put it in a, a different format where it's, you know, fuzzier or too small. And now you're making me look bad. Yeah. You know, but, um, and, but what's really cool is that lately when that happens, I see comments in the, uh, copy video that say like, you stole this. And I'm like, man, I'm that recognizable. That, Somebody noticed that it was yeah. stolen, and uh, you know normally what I'll do is I'll you know I'll I'll put a few little uh, I love I love to roast people oh, yeah. and um, roast. I'll um, I'll roast I'll roast them in their own comments so that they see it and then I'll you know place a copyright uh, claim on it and next thing you know it's taken down so I kind of get a stab in yeah. at them before they uh, before they lose their video. This last guy was was really belligerent about it, but. Uh, yeah, he, he went down like all the others. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had that happen before. I remember one guy re-uploaded my one of my 
during the time, one of my most viewed YTPs, and I was kind of scared because, like, you know, that, that those were my, because I made that video, like you said, I put some time into that, and, well, and those could have been views that I could have gotten from this guy, and I was upset about it, and I I'm, I got, I, and I did sort of like what you did, I, but I didn't get, like, a whole community, I just got a group of my friends, and we developed, like, a little army, because we still, like, we, I have a little army that me and my friends do every once in a while, when, like, mm. when I have, like, people who, who um, try to maybe try to threaten to make videos out of me or like, you know, just potentially try to do something that could potentially put my channel in danger. Um, Great. I, 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 what I usually do is I get my army to go out and just completely blatantly get this guy like to do what he does. Like they dislike bomb him, which I surprised that they do. And then they like comment saying, why did you do this? Why did you steal this? Uh, this is not your video. What? Why did you steal parts of this video or something like that? And then they right. and I would usually put a copyright claim on them. And um, actually, the most recent one was actually back in February. I think maybe February, March, somewhere February between February and April. I think um, some guy, some kid. I think he. I don't know if he was a kid or yeah. I think it was a kid. He took my YTP and completely named it a different YTP. But, but like, edited it the last part. Like, he made it short, but then edited a little piece so he could say that it was his. Um, I didn't think about it, but I did. Like, he put a little explosion effect, like, after a buzzing noise, like a boom noise, like, uh, one of those loud buzzing noises. And then he, uh, and then just put an explosion on there. And I actually was just, like, laughing. But then I, and this was during a live stream. I was like, oh, my gosh. And then I got my friends to just comment on his videos. And I didn't put a copyright strike immediately until like right. but because because eventually because i didn't know what to do at that time but then he removed the video he removed but he actually took it twice two people took it and they were both taken they both manually took it down after they noticed that people were suspicious about this video and right. i think i even commented on it on my alt saying uh saying how did you do this or like or like it, or like this is very nice or something like that like awesome oh, ytp and i'll just like just pretend like i'm just someone, but but then I'm just like comment to them or just go on my ALT saying, "Did you right. why why did you do this or something like that?" And it was just and then they would just take it down. And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" And I would just like we would just laugh for like a long time. <laughs> like we took him down. Yeah. Um. So that's another thing. Yeah, and I can understand you people could take your videos. Like, what are your what what your most viewed video has like what 1.3 million views already at this point? Somewhere around in there, yeah. Yeah, like I could. Yeah, like you're eventually gonna have people who take down your videos. Like, like not take down your videos. Take your videos and upload them to their channel to try to get a little bit of that uh, Roscoe fame or something like that, or, or right. Roscoe P fame or something like that. But yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, that's uh, uh that's one. Thing. And another thing that I am um, gonna. Hold on, let me see if I can find that uh, thing. It's like, um, what uh, have you ever thought of like trying out new styles, um, like maybe newer type of YouTube poop styles, like maybe like more, like maybe more effects or maybe like um, different kind of like maybe uh, maybe more different storytelling or something like that. Like, have you ever thought of like making like maybe experimenting with new uh, styles of uh, YouTube poops? Well, um, two things on that. Yeah. Um, first thing, there's there's one video of mine, the Teletubbies video, which um, <clears throat> is by far my favorite, um, even though the, the quality on it is, is awful. But uh, that whole thing, the only reason I made it was to be experimental. It's much more, it's much more abstract than the other ones that I make. And honestly, with a show like Teletubbies, you don't have much dialogue, you know, to work off of. So you, you're kind of left with the abstract stuff. And I just figured, let me see if I can do this. You know, now I like I like how it ended up. Um, you know, I got a, the baby son had laser beams coming out of his eyes and he rising to heavy metal music and, and yeah. uh, you know all this stuff. But uh, you know, I, I I like how it turned out, so I went ahead and published it. But yeah, that was totally all experimental. Um, and then the uh, generally, what I try to do with every video that I make. Um, I try to do a little something new. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to rest too much on the stuff that people are used to seeing, like the death glares and, and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. I, I throw that in there so that people, so that it's familiar to them. But then I try to do something new um, in each one, so that I'm not making big giant strides that might you know, shake some people. You know, because, I mean, it's it's really weird. I mean, it, as soon as you do something even slightly different, people will comment on it. And, uh, you know, a lot of times it 
it'll be negative, you know, but, um, you know, so it's all about giving people what they want. But yeah, I try to, I try to broaden out a little bit with every video, but not too much just so that, uh, you know, people know what they're going to get. So. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can understand. Like, you probably want to make maybe try out a new type of experimental thing because yeah, I I've changed my style up so many times. I used to be like a more of like, you know, a story type of thing, like do sentence mixing and stuff like that. And now it's been almost two years for me, and I've basically just been doing more of like uh, glitchy, um, fast, um, fast moving. Uh, effects spamming uh videos you know um with that and i do add some sentence mixing and trying out some more experimental stuff with that style too to see what i can do mm -hmm. with that and um I, i'm still experimenting and um you know i've been having sometimes trouble thinking of ideas of youtube poops to make so usually whenever that happens i usually just you know just take a little break maybe just um like think for a little bit and maybe afterwards i feel ready to get up and make another youtube poop um and that absolutely that, that, yeah. that happens uh, i bet and it does happen to some yt peers including some big yt peers like uh like cs like I, have you ever heard of the youtube pooper cs 188 uh i've seen that yeah, yeah it's he, been a while though. yeah he, he he's been taking some breaks too but he also makes ytps like He's talked about like how he gets so many people to request YTPs of him, uh, not YTPs of him, for so many people to tell him to make another YTP, and he gets, and he actually had to make a message saying that it's really not much of his thing that much, but he does still do it, and he takes, and he usually takes some several months, like maybe two to three months, may, maybe even longer. I think this one's taken like almost three months to make. And, oh wow. Yeah, but he, but he's like a real, but he's like a sentence mixing YouTube pooper. He's like made, he's made quite a bit of sources popular, including. Uh, if you've heard like if YTP like sus, have you ever heard of that sus thing where they reverse so? Yes. Like that? Yeah, that, he he made that I think, and he also put made the Josh. He's done the reversing. He's also um implied a lot of uh he implied the the hostess um thing back in that's an, a joke back in two thousand and uh somewhere between two thousand eight and nine or ten I somewhere between that time I could be wrong, but yeah he's uh. he's like he's he's like that like he. Like for me, at least, I take long breaks and something like that. Well, not really long breaks. I still try to make a video every like before at the end of the month, but sometimes it doesn't work out. But yep, yeah, that's what I do. And um, yeah, and another, and we're coming close to the end of the interview, and I have a few questions more on here. Um, and I, but um, before we get down to the end, I want to talk about what are your thoughts on? Of course, this is the question, but I've been wanting to know what do you think of haters on your channel like i've had people who talk about like how you're too overrated your ytps are just generic like they're they're, they're just they're not they're not good um mm. like like that they're too like they're, they're not like you don't deserve to have over twenty four thousand subscribers and your videos all in all of you making peppa pig ytps like Chris, the christmas one in the summer one that basically um and using like old stuff and basically what do you think of like people who would say that what do you think of the haters that go to your channel like what do you think of haters technically well you know um the you, you go down your comments and you see a wide range. Um, most of it's good. And then there are people who say, uh, you know, hey, you should have done this. You should have done that. And, uh, you know, they kind of you, you kind of eye roll a little bit at that stuff at first. But then you think, you know what, they, they've got ideas that I didn't have. So, you know, I keep a mental note of those and then maybe even try them later on. Usually those people come to you kind of nicely and say, hey, you know, this this was good, but it could have been better here and here. Okay, no big deal. Um, you know, then then you got your people that are just kind of vicious right out of the gates. Yeah. And um, when I see that, you know, I usually like to play with them a little bit. And uh, I, I've been I've been known to roast negative commenters, and I I only do it not out of being mean, but just because like, hey, I'm thumbing my nose at you for uh, you know being being unnecessarily mean right off right off the green light, you know. And uh, just to kind of show show people like, you know, look at this clown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, and plus it's fun. And every now and then people will actually ask me to roast them out of the blue, too. So that's that's kind of fun, too. But, uh, yeah, I mean, in the Internet in general, people are just are more mean right out of the gates than they would be in real life. And I also think, too, you know, a lot of the people that comment are probably like 11 or 12. Yeah. and you know they're just they're just trying to flex some muscle yeah, and stuff lot, like that. Lot, you mean, know, majority. I've had people that say 
you know, like mean personal things. And, uh, you know, when that, when that continues on and on, uh, I'll just block them from the channel yeah. or something like that. I, I don't just block every negative person, but when it gets to be too stupid, you know, um, like, you know, it, like, like, you know, like I'll make an angry thing out of you if you, if you, if you don't make anything like this or like, you know, just like yeah. threats or stuff like that. Yeah. I can understand well, yeah, that too. And they, you know, they'll, they'll compare you to somebody else with a completely different style and say, well, why don't you, why don't you make, uh, you know, videos like this guy and be like, well, because I'm not that guy. And if you want to watch videos by that guy, go to that guy's channel. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be negative about it, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. It's like if I were a McDonald's, you know, and you show up at my McDonald's and, and you order a filet mignon and you get chicken McNuggets, you came to McDonald's, dude, you know? So it's, you gotta, you know, don't, don't compare this YouTube pooper to that YouTube pooper. And, and especially not in a mean way, you know, just, yeah. it's different styles. So, you know, just be civil, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like I've, I've heard, I've like, there have been some fair share of hate comments on basically maybe every other YouTube pooper, every big YouTube pooper, maybe even every, maybe even small YouTube poopers. And I, there are some that are reasonable. Like I've seen YouTube mm -hmm. poops that are just complete horrible, like recorded on a webcam or like yes. very bad editing and like, or like more of like a uh, or YTPs that are just generically not even edited to the point where it's like considered a YouTube poop where it's like yeah they're like two and a half minutes between each gag or something yeah, yeah. oh yeah I've, I've seen those YouTube poops and I can and those can be reasonable like like why some people could get hate because like that but when people so but like uh, I can understand also with like people also sending threats like but when people send threats I don't really really uh, am really up happy about that like. I've seen people, right. like, when people, like, take it to, like, when people say, like, really bad threats or, like, p potentially can do very harmful danger to people, I literally say, okay, this is going too far and that this should not be tolerated on, on any comment section or any other YouTube section and should be, it should not be there because it just, it could, it could be, it could, it's kind of scary at some point. Exactly. Like, I, and I had someone earlier today when I was doing a stream earlier, like, some person was just yelling at blatantly at people and at, at these people because he was being negative to people. Like he was calling them, he was calling them names. He was, um, he, I think, yeah, it was a he. And um, people were roasting this guy, saying like how, like how his, how his army is not even strong and it's weak and stuff like that. And um, <laughs> and I and I was trying not to laugh, but I really was. And he was like, I'm gonna send out my army, or like, don't you dare, or like. Try getting my right and my name right and stuff like that. He was being negative towards everyone, and I was like, I was like, please, guys, don't make this go too far. I don't want to deal with any any of this stuff because there's a lot that deals with um, YTP, at least from what I've experienced. Like, I basically there's a, there's some drama here and there with stuff. I've experienced drama myself. Someone's mm -hmm. tried to put drama on me, but um, mm -hmm. I don't. I just ignore it. I try to like say. I don't want this to go any further, so let's just stop from there. If it try, if it's about to get out of hand, and then it works. Yeah. It works. Yeah, you kind of have to have a thick skin with this, you know. Yeah, it works for me um, in some ways, but sometimes people will try to do something like that, and then they'll just get, and then easily, um, I think my my friends and stuff like that that I know in YTP will of course go and attack this guy, and then he'll eventually take it down. Which right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, I I've had that, and I can understand haters. And do you ha actually real quick? Do you have anything you want to say to your haters, real quick? Like any of your haters? Oh, not really. Just uh, I don't know. Just, to to my haters, yeah. Jesus loves you. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I bet you don't. Yeah, I mean, you you just try to think like look at the more positive side of you of your YouTube um. YouTube um po of your YouTube poops like think positive of, like the comments and the positive stuff that gets in there try to block out all the negative stuff that right. gets on YouTube poop. yeah well um yeah that's basically it for all the questions we've been doing this for like what half an hour at this point maybe like forty five minutes something like that somewhere around there yeah yeah so um I'm a, um so yeah I think that's about majority of the questions um do you have any and th this will be one more thing before we conclude this um this interview is um. Do you have any like final thoughts, like anything you want to say to like maybe new YouTube poopers, old YouTube poopers, maybe like, or like, do you want to say anything in general to the YouTube poop community? Well, uh, you know, along those lines, uh, every now and then I'll get a comment, uh, or really it's a question in the comments saying, you know, how did you do this? How did you 
build this up from bones and make it into something popular. And um, yeah, I, I generally tell them, you know, to these people that are actually thinking about getting into this, you know, watch other people's videos and look at the ones that you like. And see the ones that, like you and I talked about, that are obviously amateurish, not very good, not very funny, um, poorly done. But they do, you know, learn from other people's mistakes and learn from other people's successes. If you're watching a YouTube poop and your your milk comes out of your nose because you're laughing so hard and you can't breathe and they have to take you to the emergency room because you're laughing so hard, then they're striking gold. And, uh, you know, you got to look at what they're doing. And I'm not saying copy them. But when you're building your style, build it around those kinds of things and then avoid what, what doesn't make you laugh. At the end of the day, you're going to be you. And, uh, you know, so, but all, honestly, too, the other, the other big thing with YouTube, and I'm sure you can, you can attest to this, too, is uh, you got to stick with it because it's not going to catch fire overnight. Um, you know, you're not, you're not going to come home from work one day and look at your comments and, and see that you've got, 500 comments in the last two hours because Dan TDM looked at your video, you know, that's, that's going to be pretty rare, but, uh, yeah. you know, if yeah. you, if you stick with it, you know, things, things will happen. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, so, but you gotta be patient. You gotta be, you just gotta stay the course. So yeah, just, uh, do what's good. Don't do what's bad. And, uh, and stick with it, and eventually it'll start to uh, catch some momentum. Yeah, and um, well, I, I forgot to say this earlier, but yeah, one more thing would be like, what was your reaction when Dan TDM saw your YouTube? <laughs> like, what were you like when you knew a big YouTuber with like over 10 million subscribers, maybe even over uh, like 20 million at this point? How did you feel when he saw your video that you made? Like, what was your initial reaction to that? Okay, okay, so let me tell you about that day because I remember it vividly. Okay. Um, this was a time when I probably had about seven or 800 subscribers. So I was doing pretty decently on my own. And that, that video had been out for a couple months at least. And um, I was used to coming home from work and looking at the comments and maybe seeing two or three, maybe. Yeah. And uh, I got changed. I sat down on my couch, pulled out my phone, and I had hundreds of comments. And I'm... I'm going, what the world, what the world, you know, and I'm reading them. And these are people saying, I just subbed, this was hilarious. And Dan, Dan watched your video and I didn't put two and two together at first. I was going, who's Dan? Who's Dan? Now I know who Dan TDM is. My kids would watch him all the time, you know, but then finally about 25 comments in, somebody said, I'm here because of Dan TDM. And I'm like, no. And, uh, you know, so I, I pulled up his channel and saw his uh, his thumbnail had a little Peppa Pig on it, and I'm going no. And I watched that video, and um, it was it was surreal. You know, you're you're watching your video with his face in the corner, yeah. and he's talking about it, and he's saying good things about it. And uh, you know, so I'm I'm sitting there just trying to wrap my brain around this for a minute. Yeah. And uh, I was home alone with my kids, and uh, I put my phone down, and I said, guys, pull up YouTube on the TV. Dan TDM watched my video and they, you know, they were going, no, no. And, uh, and we pulled it up and they were, they were off the walls. And of course I was too. I was calling my parents, you know, and, and, uh, <laughs> it was, yeah. it was nuts. It was, yeah. it was, it was a crazy, crazy day. And, and ever since then it's been kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of waned off in the last few months or so, but, uh, yeah. it's, it's been a big ride, you know, yeah. but, uh, I, I, I was just thrilled that he had so many good things to say about it. Uh, you know, because he, he watched a couple of others and he didn't seem to enjoy them very much. And, you know, when he saw mine, he, you know, he said good things. So I, I took that as a tremendous compliment. He yeah. knows the business. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can, I, I bet I can understand. Like, I bet your children are, were looking at you. Do you ever children say like my, your fault, like you're famous or something like that, or like you're this famous YouTuber or something like that. Did they ever say that to you? They, they put me in some crazy situations before uh, mentioning my YouTube channel and all that stuff. And, and uh, you know, just mentioning it to people that probably wouldn't get the whole YouTube poop scene. Yeah. And then I have to explain it to them. And, yeah. and they kind of like, you know, is this what you do with your life? I'm like, well, yeah, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's, it's just, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's been awesome. And, and, and yeah, my kids, they were, they were all just 
over the moon with it. And every now and then we still pull up his video and watch it. Yeah. We probably account for 200,000 of his 4 million views on that video at this yeah. point. So. And another thing would be like, I bet, like, I wonder if they've told like any of their friends, like, I mean, I'm, I know my father or something like that is a YouTuber, uh, like a famous YouTuber. And then like everyone's just like, it's him, it's him. It's <laughs> like, well, what, be... What's funny too is, uh, you know, the next day I was at work and there was a friend of mine that worked in another part of the building. And I, I sent her an IM over the work thing. And I said, I said, you wouldn't believe it. I just became like a YouTube star. And, and I told her that, you know, some big YouTube big YouTuber had, uh, had seen my video and I didn't think she knew anybody from anybody. And she says, what, well, it wasn't Dan TDM. Was it I'm like, yes. And she goes, get out of here. And you know, it was just, it, I had that conversation with at least 20, 25 people, you know, just, you know, and it just seemed never end, but, uh, it was, it was nuts. It got kind of crazy there for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I bet it is. And I, and I, and I bet it's pretty cool for you. Like that to know that you just now are like this YouTube, like this big YouTube pooper that some people, see and like are like these like just look at your video and just see like it's amazing like how people like that can just who google basically are unknown can suddenly go up to over twenty four thousand subscribers and but it's, yep that's a real moment at that point like mm -hmm. you've known that you've done something good when that's happened well um yeah that's basically concluding our podcast today we've been doing this almost wow for over almost an hour wow yeah <laughs> well yeah yeah um, but yeah, it was very nice of you to be here on this podcast um, with me and uh, and probably uh, people who are watching, I should have this out within the next day or two because I'm going to have to uh, put the audio in sync and probably edit a few things here and there. But uh, yeah, it was um, a, it was nice to it was a it was a nice it was pleasant and nice to have you here. And thank yeah, you. For, likewise, uh, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. And it was very nice to answer some questions that some people have known and uh, and um stuff like that um just to know a little bit more about the face or the person behind a, a, a youtube pooper it's a pretty amazing um but yeah that's going to conclude do you have any like final words that you want to say just before i end this podcast no i think i'm good just stay cool and keep at it if you're in this game yeah uh yeah so this concludes uh the uh, youtube poop review i don't know what i'm going to call this i'll probably just call it youtube poop review or something like that but yeah um that's going to conclude it. Uh, thank you, everyone who's watched this podcast. And also, yeah, thank you. A big thank you to uh, Roscoe for um, for accepting the, the um, invitation to be on here tonight. And, thank uh, you. Yeah, and um, thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.